Okay, the three triangles ABC are shown below. The given lengths of the sides of each triangle are in centimeters, where x, y are natural numbers. In this question, take perimeter means the length of the perimeter. The perimeter of triangle A is eight centimeters. Two of the sides have length two and three. Oh, okay, well that's, that's easy peasy. Just take these two numbers away from eight. Eight minus three point five minus two, so that's. 2.5 centimeters. Write down the perimeter of triangle B. 2x plus 2x is 4x. 3 plus 1 is 4. And then the perimeter of triangle B is 24 centimeters. Use this to work out the value of x. So 4x plus 4 equals 24. So you can see that x has to be 5 because then you'll get 4x equals 24 minus 4, which is 20. And so you get x is 5 centimeters. And uh, the perimeter of all three triangles uh, form a linear sequence. Triangle C has the largest perimeter. The perimeter of C is K. Find the value of K. So in other words, what's the perimeter here? Right, well, the first one had a total perimeter of 8. The second one will have to work it out. Uh, 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11. 11 plus 10 plus 3. So that's 24. So that's a difference of 16. So if it's a linear sequence, the next one will have to have a perimeter of 40 centimeters. Oh, so it's 40 centimeters. Uh, technically, I don't need the centimeters. Um, 5 plus y squared plus y squared plus 3. 5 plus y squared plus y squared plus 3 equals 40. So that's 2y squared equals... Oh, interesting. There's no, no y in it? Yeah. So it's not quite a proper quadratic as we're used to. So I'll take the 5 and the 3 to the left. So that's uh, 32. 40 minus 5 minus 3. Uh, divide by 2 and only take the positive root, I think. Oh, actually, could y be negative here? No, it can't. We're told it's a natural number, not an integer. Okay, that's today's question 4. Let's have a look at 5 now.